Microsoft has a different vision of what a tablet or a laptop should be like. Their answer? The Surface Pro 3. This is Nick from Microsoft Product Reviews, and this is my full video review of Microsoft's newest device. So let's get to it. When Microsoft created the original Surface Pro, their intent was to build a true non-compromised device that would replace your laptop and tablet. I have to give them credit for trying, because if they hadn't set this goal, we wouldn't have the Surface Pro 3 today. I can gladly say that Microsoft has finally achieved this goal and created a true non-compromised hybrid computer. A device that's gorgeous and category defining, as well as a design icon that will spawn a new wave of devices from various PC manufacturers and bring the best Windows experience to the user. The Surface line of devices have always been known to have a very premium build quality, and Surface Pro 3 is no exception. It's also made up of the same high quality magnesium material as the previous models. The kickstand of the Surface Pro 3 is a revelation compared to previous models. It sports a new hinge which feels very strong and being able to angle the device pretty much all the way down just feels amazing. It opens up so many possibilities. However, this is a needed feature as traditional laptops can angle their screens all the way down too. And the Surface Pro 3, which is titled as a PC, has to find a way to duplicate it. And it does a really good job at it. One of the best new features of the Surface Pro 3 is the increase in screen size. From a respectable 10.6 inches the previous models had, to a far bigger looking and roomier 12 inches. Yes, it's only an inch and a half larger diagonally, but it just feels much bigger due to the new 3x2 aspect ratio, which makes it taller and adds another row of live tiles. Because the Surface Pro 3 is now taller, it just feels a lot more natural when you're holding it in portrait mode. It doesn't feel as long. And one of the things that I really like is that the pen doesn't slide so easily on the screen like it does in the Surface Pro 1 and 2, which kind of gives you the feeling you're writing in a piece of paper in some weird way. When it comes to the operating system, Windows 8.1 and Surface Pro 3 are made for each other, and it just makes using the two feel natural. Also, with the new aspect ratio, you can go wild now and snap up to three apps side by side. The cameras on this thing are dual 5 megapixel cameras as opposed to the dual 1 megapixel cameras the previous models had. I spent some time testing out the cameras and I can firmly see that they're decent. Although the cameras are decent, I highly doubt anyone will plan on taking photos with such an immense tablet. I would say the selfies look pretty good, but perhaps the best part is the Skype video calls, as the cameras are able to capture you in 1080p now compared to the 720p on the Surface Pro 2 and 1. The new type cover has been immensely improved. This time around, Microsoft not only made the trackpad a lot bigger, it has the same characteristics as trackpads in many high-end laptops, and it has a smooth high-quality feel to it and it clicks in as well. Microsoft also managed to incorporate glass beads into it in some way, and this is something high-end laptops always use in their trackpads. The keys are actually the same size as previous touch covers. The extra space in the keyboard went into making the trackpad a lot bigger and adding an additional magnetic strip. This magnetic strip, which goes across the top of the keyboard, allows it to clip to the bottom of the screen, and this is ideal for creating an angle typing experience you're accustomed to on a regular laptop. It's also a fantastic addition for when you're using the Surface Pro 3 in your lap, as it makes the device a lot sturdier. And the addition of a pen strap is like a cherry on top. No more losing your pen. Before I get into details of the pen, I gotta say that one of my favorite features of the Surface Pro 3 is the fact that it enables you to launch OneNote by pressing the purple button on top of the pen, even if the device is locked. It'll take you right into OneNote without the need to enter a password, and it makes using OneNote an amazing experience. And I find myself making excuses to launch OneNote with the pen just because of how cool it feels. This new pen, however, feels a lot different than its predecessors, and that's due to Microsoft using an Entry digitizer as opposed to a Wacom digitizer the previous Surface models used. If you compare the pens from the previous Surface Pro models to this one, Surface Pro 3's pen is built out of premium material as opposed to plastic. It's also thicker due to it housing a single AAA battery, but it feels surprisingly nice and even weighted. It's not heavier on one side or another as the weight is evenly dispersed. In addition, it has two extra buttons at the bottom, one's used for erasing and the other one for selecting. I found the pen on the Surface Pro 3 to be more accurate across the board when comparing to the previous version. Not a massive difference, but a noticeable one. I found myself getting frustrated sometimes trying to select smaller touch points on the Wacom pen, and this is one area where I noticed improvement. Now for the burning question on everyone's mind. 
and that's whether the Surface Pro 3 can actually replace your laptop. This is a pretty tough question to answer as there are so many different type of laptop users out there and it's nearly impossible for a hybrid device like this to fully replace a laptop for everyone. However, I would say that for most people, yes, Surface Pro 3 can definitely replace your laptop and in fact, it'll be a better fit in so many cases than a traditional laptop. As far as the battery life goes, expect to get around 7.5 to 8 hours. Of course, that can go lower if you're running some heavy applications, but for the most part, that's what you should be getting. After using this device extensively, having traveled with it, and using it in every possible occasion, I can say that Microsoft has created something truly special here. This is a whole different ballgame compared to previous Surface models. Surface Pro 3 is a massive leap forward in design and overall usability. Every single aspect of the previous Surface Pro models has been drastically improved, making it a true design icon. This is a device that has the potential to change PC hardware as we know it, and will definitely set a strong example for PC manufacturers to follow. Surface Pro 3 screams thoughtfulness in every aspect, as this is as close to a no compromise device that you can get. It's cheaper than a MacBook and iPad combo, and if you opt for a higher end model, it'll be a lot more powerful than the two combined. Microsoft has a winner on their hands, and I can definitely say, despite this device being expensive, this is a case where you get what you pay for. Thanks for watching the video. For more details, check out the written review. And always stay tuned to Microsoft Art Reviews for more news and coverage on the Surface Pro 3. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up.